Right, hey guys, Shrift Grudge Ladies, and everyone back with Tower of Chest, episode episode 9. So as we learned last episode, my boy Kuno, Kuno over here was um, playing 40, 3D, 10D, 20D chest with his big plans. Kept surprising me around every corner. Every time I thought I had a grasp of what he was doing, the guy was like, no, Liam. There's more to my plan. How dare you think? How dare you think you've worked it out? And that was definitely an MVP moment of the show. To be fair, I think that was absolutely fantastic. I love how they bought this whole this whole friend list thing they were doing. Actually paid off, and it just did everything to benefit them. And I, oh, that plan was amazing. Like that was good. And there was some top acting at the end when he snaked the rest of the people out. And I absolutely adored that. Um, overall, very fun test. We got to see the definitely got to see the potential uh, just the beginnings of uh, Kun's planning. The fact that he planned so far ahead is insane. Like just planning what just the planning what his original plan what what I thought it was was him just um, tricking the guy for him to just do the first part of the plan where I thought um, then then he got away to the fact that he was just doing all that to make sure a certain people passed just shows uh, how much of a goddy normal music anime I like the idea of these webtoon adaptations I know God of High School is out next so I'm excited to see that but yeah I'm definitely enjoying it I think this has been a lot of fun nine episodes in I've got a good impression of the show I think it's been a hell of a ride I think it's improved. So far, every episode, um, I think like it's just been on a slow incline upwards. I'm enjoying the character. As usual, thanks for watching these reactions. I can't say how much, how thankful I am that you, any of you even watching these videos. Um, I do truly appreciate it. And yeah, you just made this a lot more fun. And it's a lot more fun now I'm able to read the comments with them being filtered. So you guys have all been amazing in the comments from what I've read so far. Um, so yeah, thank you. And yeah, thank you for everyone who's been moderating the comments. I do appreciate it. Anyway, other than that, guys, let's jump in. <laughs> I love the third person aspect of it. I think she's talking about herself. Oh, that, that's satisfying art direction. <laughs> this goes with her personality so far, what we learned when they first was introduced, how they killed everyone else. And then she killed everyone to make sure she was the one getting a good meal. That's pretty... She's badass. <laughs> Menacing walking coming. <laughs> Mate, the speed. <laughs> I expect him to do an edge walk. He didn't. Oh. oh damn it. <laughs> well, if I was going to be killed, I'd love to. I'd rather be done by her. <laughs> I'm simping. Did you not listen to a story, man? Fucking hell, Bam, turning that logic. I like the different in point of views. That's like two different ideologies going competing at the moment. That was fun to watch. Even though I do prefer her, hers over Bam's. Well, Bam's still got the naivety, I'm sure. As, as he climbs the tower, that naivety's gonna slowly widow away. <laughs> That's a pretty sick line. Oh, he just been betrayed, didn't he? You fucking shitty spare bastards! Oh my... Oh my fucking god. Uh, what cunts? Made up. Absolutely. I can't be mad at him because they're just doing what thing he's doing, but still. A team of traitors. They basically are, aren't they? <laughs> Do ever give the letters? Not wrong. Wait, man's got to recharge his brain power. Nah, he just did a bam thing. Do you know, I can't. 
I might not be on Bam's ideological level. He's the usual sort of shown in sort of ideology of like I can't do that sort of stuff. I obviously prefer her her version more. Like yeah, step over people. The yeah, it can backfire on you. It can not. But when it's in a world full of traitors and scum, being honourable won't get you anywhere. But we'll see. But I am interested to see what they're going to do with Bam here. That could go with Bam slowly loses this part of him. Or he's going to stick by it till the end. I'm curious. I'm curious what they're going to take, Bam. They could take an interesting direction. Hmm. Unlucky. Is he talking to Kun? I would be surprised. That's probably why he's got his head down. Did he actually give him a headset? Ouch. <laughs> Stabbed in the back. <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> oh, the back's not Mate, you already mastered the skill that quick. Bam saw it once, man. He already used it. That's impressive. That's actually pretty scary. That's cool. Man's got the showing gun over here, mate. Just copying those jutsus. <laughs> Whoa. That's, that, that, that is the ultimate betrayal, fam. Jufflin's service. Torno jutsu style. See, we got his past, so I feel kind of bad for him. <laughs> yeah, that past they showed was brutal when it was just taking all the horns. Wow. Show actually went through with something like that. That's interesting. See, I like the, I like the little parallel there. Because you sort of have, like, Bam, who had nothing. Who knew nothing. And then, like, he met Rachel. And then that gave, that gave him a purpose. Where someone like her, he had everything. He's lost it all. But he's not he's not done the decision of making a new family or new uh, trying to start over. He he decided to just... He, his, he, his new purpose was to climb... He, he said he could look like his new purpose was to climb the tower. But when he met Bam, he just sort of had that problem where it's like he's never meant to climb the tower, so he loses all purpose again. Having happening twice to someone, that's pretty... Yeah. <laughs> So one reason I can't be mad at her for what he did because I like because I like what she did. He did a similar, very similar thing. And that's where his development could be interesting, or it could go horribly wrong. God, I love her. She's cool. Let's see what level she's on. We know she's more powerful than the others because we've seen kind of struggle with people she one shot. Obviously, he's nerfed massively, but still. Oh, bam! <laughs> I do love him sometimes. I love the fact how quick he, how quick he learns. Mate, man saw it once. That is impressive. Oh, my God, I love him so much. <laughs> I like all the different like, character ideologies a lot going off at the same time. Hmm. Hmm. 
かじめのない人生だったかもしれないけど。Mate, <laughs> I bet that man's skilled at taking the bra off in one go. <laughs> She's commanding right now. She's, not, she's at least on 3D chest. She's just not on that 10D chest yet. Silent man. I'm curious what that role is going to play now. That was a good episode. Um, I like I like episode. Like I say, I like the sort of um, small parallel. So man ended up giving up in the end. And I like the, the girl added on that he could have been great. Like if you just stuck through it and just could restart, but because he was so focused on climbing the tower, he never really thought of any alternative, which. Tends to happen when everyone you know is killed in front of you. I'm sure you don't adapt too well about, about it. Like I said, I went most. I didn't really care about his character. He's like I went invested in his character, but it's still a nice story arc either way. Um, as I don't get easily invested in characters because of certain stuff like that. I know some people probably got invested into it, whereas I was sort of like, yeah, it's a good story. But yeah, I do feel bad for the, how it ended. Tragic end, but I like that. It shows that the show's not um, not afraid to show a bit of tragedy. Tragedy. I mean, things can get interesting later. And I like that the challenging Bam's ide ideology is this early on. Normally shows wait a little bit before to start challenging that sort of mindset. Bam has the usual typical protagonist mindset of not wanting to hurt anyone or betray anyone and be the honourable top guy. But now this is where Bam can be in interesting. He could go down super edgelord route, which would be terrible. He could go down a sort of route where he starts to change and, he's, and he becomes more cynical and uh, um, more cynical as the tower goes on he could stick by his ideologies all the way up to the top of the tower I'm curious what all turns into a badass of the tower I don't know which way to go take his character and this is the risk so blank slate characters like Bam they can be really boring where um, I will hate him and find him boring as the show goes on or because he's a blank slate with a very a mind that can change similar to how Merriam is from um, Hunter x Hunter because he starts off as a baby you know saying Hunter x Hunter it's like you don't know where they're going to take his character so Bam could either be really boring he could be fantastic he could be edgelord centric um, I'm curious where he's going to go like, like I said because it's sort of because brought this up quite early on in the show we have potential to, um, potential to take his character I'm curious I'm curious he could be very interesting or very boring I'm curious which route I am very curious to see where I'm going to where my opinion is going to lie on the series as it goes on as usual, Best Girl was playing a bit 2D chess to herself. It went on a level with my boy Kun, but that was but she is smart and she's hot and she's powerful, so fuck it, I love her. And I like her sort of mindset. Her mindset. Well, I'm eating stale bread. I've got to be I've got to train harder to get the better food. How about I just kill them all and get the better food? I love I love that. That's badass. Um, I love the way they did the past. Some of the shot conversation was cool as shit there as well. I loved it. Um, like I said, I can't be bad. I can't be mad at what that guy said he was doing. He was being a traitor to grab Rachel because she was doing the same thing. It's just like I just had different like, care levels, if you know what I mean. But yeah, very very enjoyable episode. Very different feel. I think this one was a bit more hit, 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 hitting the feels, um, whereas last episode was just hype. So overall, solid episode. And um, yeah, I think I think. I like the idea of the show already challenging sort of Bam's ideals, and I think that's a good thing to do early on. And it gives me a bit more optimism for the show later on. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the action. If you do, 